Hello everyone, my name is Isle, and welcome to Rome Total War Remastered. This is episode 6 of the Macedonian Campaign. And in the last episode, we took Pergamon as well as Tarentum. I think we took Salona back, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, but um, this episode, we plan to end off this, or I guess the season, by taking out the Greek city states. We have a fleet hidden there already with two generals leading the charge. This guy, he's just going to be positioned on the bridge for now. And we're going to counterattack, I'm thinking, this turn against the Scipionis. Now, we are relatively even, though, if I throw it into a night fight, we do definitely have one more command star. And we have 10 influence. This guy's pretty good, this Gyras the Conqueror. He's, he's become such a, gen such a good general to us. But yeah, we reverse in a general and a few infantry units, not too much. We outnumber them, so I think we could stomp them pretty easy. Anyway, so let's get into this. Alright, that's a pretty large army. So, should we flank them or should we meet them head on? I'm thinking we're just gonna flank. Now, they have a large army. And I really wish I could get these guys in a pretty nice line. And well, we'll start the battle now. So yeah, pretty much the plan is to tackle them head on. We maybe should have had these guys head this way though. They'll hopefully go that way. On the other hand, the cavalry and archers, yeah, they can go this way too, why not? Get them outside the settlement. Well, they're standing their ground pretty firmly. Slow it down a little bit. Keep the, them there. And these Cretan archers need to be prepared to fight. And I need the pikemen, not the archers, though. And we're going to plan a bit of a roundabout. If we do lose this fight, that means we may sacrifice the Greek Peninsula battle. It may set us back a bit, but I know we won't lose the campaign. Unless the Egyptians meet their victory conditions, and that would really suck some ass. Okay, we need these guys to fire on, like, someone, so... Fire on the Hastade, perhaps. Prepared for a pretty big battle right now. That's some equites we could charge into. Do a bit of a flank show. We could actually probably charge them right now. They might start focusing just on this side. This is our cav. I don't know why these guys are not running. Oh, it's because they have this on, duh. Maybe stop you for now. Have we charged them? We have. I mean, we're going to annihilate them pretty easily. Those Equites stood no chance, and then we just kind of run after the Velites. Whoa, Cretan archers, you're being a little fucking cocky. Oh my fucking god, that hurts. Ah, oh, why didn't you wait? Actually, you know what? Yeah, charge into my dudes. I don't fucking care. <laughs> my poor fucking Cretans. God damn it, man. Ah, oh, I wish it was like fucking fire at a reasonable fucking ah whatever where did this guy go oh he just didn't decide to come all right then i see how it is game charge into the velotes i don't fucking care man that sucks though i did not it well you know what we didn't lose everyone so sometimes you just don't pay attention that much in battle and that's the reality of things you can't focus on every front That's Velites, so we should charge into them pretty easily. Those guys here are eating them up. These guys are slowly getting into position. Oh yeah, eat those Velites up. Fuck them right up. Uh, 
those are Equites. Continue chasing them off. War Dogs, Velites. That's a lot of War Dogs on our ass right now, so I would say maybe try to pull back a bit. We're gonna use these guys to our advantage. Move them up. Because we don't want our general dying by these fucking dogs. I know how much damage they can do, and they do way too much. Okay, we gotta pause here quickly, because our general's dying somehow. Where is he? Oh, he's in the middle of a bunch of fucking Hastati. No shit, he's about to die. Alright, come on, try to pull him out. Oh, fuck, he just broke. Whatever, please, uh, just get out of there. Would be awesome. You're gonna die. Well, that's okay then. I don't give a fuck anyways. Wow, he got destroyed. I expected him to completely get away there, but nope. Oh, fucking, that's my headset turn off. Alright, don't let them just attack you. Fuck this. Oh, shit, you're... No. Okay, you charge into you. You go up there. General is somehow still alive. I do... Well, I don't even know what the word I was looking for there. <laughs> Kagomerate or whatever fucking big-ass word. God, these dogs are gonna get fucking annoying. I could already tell. Dogs are one of the most annoying things to fight in this game. Well, we are winning the fight anyways, though I haven't seen a sign of the general just yet. Aw, oh, you fucking dogs. You know what? The Kreens are done with. I don't even give a fuck anymore. Just charge. I was gonna give a bit of a shit, but I you start kind of not after a bit. Alright, what's our main guys doing right now? They're just running away from a fucking pack of dogs. Jesus Christ. Alright. Try to go around with the Light Lancers. We're gonna make a full round turn here. Destroy these kids. Yeah, you go off to the Velites. They have so much more Hastate. They just charge into the Roman General. Charge into those War Dogs. These guys just keep up the good ass fire. We are out of position we don't like. There we go. Aw, oh, these dogs, dude. They're gonna probably smash into my archers. Might take more casualties than we think. But yeah, kill those fucking Hastade. Break them completely. And then we gotta kinda aim for the general. They're just gonna pick up our archers, so. That's okay, then. Wavering. Oh my fuck, I- these dogs, man, fuck off. I wish they had any moral kinda. I also didn't have those guys on that. Just keep running. I need to kind of try to escape these dogs. Try to attack the dogs. These guys are just kind of running away from the Roman general. Alright, how's it looking? They have about 800 men left. Pretty much, I think we have won this, though. Three times speed this, maybe. You stop to fucking shoot me? You're dumb. Fuck off! These dogs are so fucking dicks. Nine! There we go. Okay, good. Heroic victory. We did lose about a thousand men, unfortunately. It looks like they just kind of retreat off the fight. But yeah, their dogs were pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie. But uh, we didn't kill the general, but they didn't kill any of our general. That I <laughs> We're surprisingly lucky that didn't happen because I really didn't play that well. But anywho. And hopefully they fuck off for a bit now. Though I'm probably going to get besieged again by this army. Um. Yeah. What we can do though is continue to get troops going at least. Hopefully the Skippy I naff off for a bit. But we might we might have to just beat them back for a little bit. Broody I are pretty open. Um, I'm pretty sure just building and then on to the next turn. Yeah, defending this peninsula is going to be quite an uphill battle for us, but, you know, I think with the army we do have on right now and the 
troops and the ability to retrain them, I think we will be fine. Still does worry me for a bit. Alright, that's pretty much all we can build, so on to the next turn we go! What are the Broody I plan to do? Maybe do some merchant shit, or di diplomacy, most likely. No, oh, and they did decide to attack Croton. Oh, they want my shit bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they could win if they attack Croton. They definitely, I don't think, can win with that army. Though, if they stop me from retraining shit, I am going to get a little pissed off. And Scythia moves. Ah, perfect. Got all of that flash of light. Anywho. We are almost at Rhodes. We are actually... Oh, yes. Thank you. Y yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, I want to land, maybe? That would be cool, huh? Okay, land, just combine ships. <laughs> Alright. And boom, we can put it under siege. And for some odd reason, we have a full army. Oh, shit, it's this. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And we could do a night fight. Oh, my God, we're scumbags. <laughs> Should we end it off here? You know what? You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to do a few more battles because I feel like the episode is going to end off here shortly anyways. Oh, also Plague finally struck here, so that's awesome. Can't recruit. If that's the case, I want you to kind of avoid that region. Alright, anywho. We're getting besieged here by the Skippy Eye again. They're willing to fight me. I might not do a night fight that time. But just a bunch of Equites, some Hastades, some Velites. It's pretty much the same group of guys. And all of our ships retrained, so yeah, let's round two, motherfuckers. Let's go. Alrighty, so plan is pretty much the same here. We're gonna send these fine gentlemen out. Just start the fight here. Send them out. Get the cavalry to probably go around. Kind of just want to leave that general there. Because last time he almost fucking ate the dust. And I don't want that to happen again. Get these guys going around. Get these hot plights. Wherever the fuck they are. Oh, they're in the city. Awesome. Um, We'll just kind of line them out. These... Gentlemen, and... Oh, I don't even know. We'll just send these guys out that way. And even some of the Cretans were able to recover. And our archers, so that was not so bad then. You will just sit there and kind of watch for now. You deserve a bit of a break from what you just did. Uh, just some... Yeah, I mean, they don't match us when it comes to cavalry, though. So I can't just charge in with the cavalry be gone. Though what I am going to do is wait. Until they do something stupid. It's always best to try to strike those war dogs. Uh, right away, but... Especially until they... Before they unleash their hounds on us. Oh, and they're willing to charge me first. So I'll charge them. Counter charge, I guess. Let's rally, and boom, they broke immediately. Got absolutely smashed. Might as well continue. Smash these equites right here. And these guys should break here shortly. Wavering, broken, perfect. Although we... Uh, those, uh, those are also equities, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Yeah, we're not going to be able to keep up that up. Try to pull back, men, please. Like, we can only take so much. Like, 
three units might be our breaking point right there. Yeah, keep shooting these fuckers. I'm okay with those guys getting shot up. Alright, well we got them a little bit away. Call a rally. I think we can win this. Oh yeah, we're winning. Okay, never mind then. We're doing good. Okay, don't go into the, uh, well, what's her names? The Stade there. And they decided to actually charge one of my pikemen. That was pretty idiotic. The gods have filled the enemy general with fear. Now okay, he flees now the field this side. Like we can maybe just charge into the war dogs or something. I think they know to get out of here. I think this failed. Oh yeah, that failed pretty bad. I thought I could break them before that, but oh well. We got men to play with, it's fine. 909 men left on their side. Holy fuck, if you get away, I'm gonna get a little pissy. Oh, what's this? Okay, that's... Oh, my shit, so that's good. Retreat back. You guys will act as a wall for the dogs. Oh man, I can't believe they're gonna outrun me. Are you fucked? Oh, is this their mercenaries? It is. Oh, I didn't know they had spearmen. What the fuck? They outran me? Seriously, game? Whatever. I'll fight you fuckers again and I'll definitely slaughter you. Besides that, we got all these Hastade and Spearmen and whatever left to kill. Try to get some of these Velites. There's 50 of them left. And it's pretty much just that I think slaughtering. Eh, didn't do the best. And they're broken. Yeah, not gonna lie, that wasn't the best fight. But whatever. We got the most of them, at least. Uh, they got away with about 785. And they only killed around 450 of us, so yeah, not bad, I guess. Alright, Tarentum, how much... Ah, uh, your population's really windering. Let's just put you at a low tax for now so you get the population, because we're we gotta retrain here again. But on to the icing on the cake, or whatever the phrase goes. We're gonna fucking kill these bastards in a auto resolve. Bullshit, but alright, I'll take it. Victory and honor. Between the hammer and the anvil. Parthy be gone. Ha! Huh. Alright. And we'll enslave them. And we got the Colossus of Rhodes. And our victory condition. Macedon is now the mightiest power in the world. Your leadership and command abilities have brought this victory to the Macedonians and statues in your honor should be promote prominent in every town and city the gods themselves look upon in jealousy continue playing and there goes the Greek cities now we have this huge rebel army here but I mean whatever all right well that essentially clears the campaign out so yeah, we pretty much started by... Who did we attack? Oh wait, hold up. Oh, this is Plague, right? Oh yeah, I, okay, I thought we were getting besieged, but no, not anymore. Oh, uh, we are still getting besieged by the Broody Eyes. So in Season 2, what we're going to have to prepare for is probably the counterattack by the Romans. Specifically the Scipii and the Julii. The Broody Eye are probably going to die next season, because come on, I'm like... I'm like right fucking here. I mean, they can't really do shit. And they decide to kind of try to threat by Azora here, but I know they're not going to win no matter what they try. And yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to it. We have this army here in Anatolia, so now we can actually start expanding our old empire out. 
we can either go to war with the Pontics or keep them as a little bit of a temporary ally and go after the Seleucids. That probably seems like the most likely scenario for me, as we'll get concentrated in the southern part of Anatolia. Worry about the Pontic people later. On the other hand, though, yeah, we took out the Thracians pretty easy. Dude, we kicked some ass this campaign. We kicked the Romans' ass. We kicked the fucking Thracian ass. We kicked Greek ass. We kicked everyone's ass in this campaign. This has actually been probably the funnest and easiest one so far. So, yeah, there's really nothing. There's not really too many words to share right now. Besides, yeah, it wasn't the hardest thing in the world. We won, and with how many territories exactly... We got about, do 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 do, says it somewhere. With 18 regions controlled. Not bad. Besides that, we're gonna do the infinite, infinite, yeah. The fucking, the tug of war we usually do, right? I cannot speak today, so forgive my poor English. Fog of war. Is that not how it works? Did I do it wrong? Hoggle underscore. F-O-W. I, I feel like just sometimes it doesn't fucking work, but oh well. Anyways, this is the empire right now, the world, I guess. So the Scipii, they've, yeah, they've taken all of Sicily. They haven't actually defeated Carthage yet, uh, though they're preparing to do such. Um, they've taken Corsica that I'm actually kind of surprised about. Northern Italia. It looks like the Romans are actually doing pretty good this campaign. The Brits have completely destroyed the Gauls. And Carthage is doing pretty good on Iberia. They usually do pretty shit, but yeah, it looks like that's going to come to an end here with Ambon, the Spanish general. He's going to kick some ass, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, besides that, they usually don't get this far in Iberia, so good job Carthage, I guess, for now. Though they are probably going to lose here. Egypt's obviously the powerhouse as most people expect the Seleucids. I think this is their this is their only territory I mean if we're gonna go for it, it's gonna be pretty hard to fight for Parthia did okay Scythia did okay Dacia did uh, pretty much everything else is pretty normal just the Gauls are gonna die the Brutii are gonna die and Carthage is probably gonna die next but yeah, yeah and not too bad at all but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this season, then make sure you like, subscribe, do all that shit YouTubers tell you to do. Also, make sure you check out my Twitter. The link in the description will be down below. And well, I'll catch you guys later.